Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Welcome, welcome back, best friend. It is Friday, and I am so excited to start the day off with you guys. And tomorrow is my birthday, but today we will be celebrating it together at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will be going live, so I hope to see you there and we can talk, we can have fun, and we can just be a little bit messy together. So, best friend, speaking about messy girl, I don't understand how or when, where, how, when, how, wh wh what is all the W's, where, when, who, how, girl, whatever. Um, I don't understand what is going on with Selena Gomez. I'm telling you guys that every single day, there are so many things that I choose not to talk about because I'm like, girl, this is so obvious. It's a rumor. You know, it has nothing, you know, like there's things that I'm just like, girl, you know, anyone can see that this is not real. But one thing that I do know is that when Selena Gomez responds, honey, you spill the tea. So Selena Gomez is no stranger to lurking online, honey. If you think that you're uh, posting something about Selena or talking something about Selena and you think that if you're talking messy, you're going to get away with it, think again, boo-boo, because Selena Gomez, she is not playing with people, honey. Listen, Selena Gomez, she is one of the very, very few artists, celebrities out there who claps back in the most classy, the most unproblematic way ever, but they will definitely get the point across. Take a look at this. <laughs> Best friend, Selena Gomez is not playing with you guys. You guys are trying way too hard to get her. Um, let me tell you something about Selena Gomez. Does not matter how many jobs she has. Girl, she's a singer, an actress, an entrepreneur with her billion dollar empire, okay? She is a philatropolist. How do you say that word, bitch? A philopopolis? You know, someone who really does good in the world, because she does. And she is a, you know, mental health advocate. She does it all, okay? And she also still has two minutes to set you guys straight when you want to make up some dumbass rumors. So it says, according to a few tabloids, Selena Gomez and John Kennedy Schlossberg, no idea who that is, had an affair from 2020 to 2021. The grandson of the U.S. President John Kennedy <gasps> promised her the White House and she fell for it. <gasps> Tell me I'm your national anthem. Girl, the gays are going to go crazy at Coachella this weekend. So, Selena Gomez, listen, this, this article had like 700 likes, okay? And she said, I don't care how small it is or how big the rumor is. <laughs> You're not doing this because I have the hair, I have the booty, I have the face, but I do not have the time. She responded and said, never met this human. Sorry. This is what I love about Selena Gomez. She does not allow you know, uh, storylines or allegations to get bigger than they are. She will set you straight. And it means that she does very much take her reputation serious. She doesn't just sit around and let the tablets talk it out of their ass. She literally does something about it immediately. And that's my friends, a boss ass bitch. Okay. Um, Selena girl, girl, I am so, I'm so happy for her right now she is glowing she is thriving she imagine it being 2024 and you hate selena gomez like i'm so sorry girl but selena gomez should be on everybody's vision board seriously she literally has overcome so many obstacles she has literally jumped through fire through hoops to get into a better better life you know with her mental health her physical health you know heartbreak all of that and look at her best friend five thousand jobs glowing like she is the sun herself with an amazing boyfriend a billion dollar empire okay and rare beauty being the number one biggest selling uh, celebrity brand in the world that my friends is selena gomez and girl i am so freaking proud of you selena and i love that she sets the record straight girl because nobody should be making shit up about miss selena gomez okay anyways girl i'm also best friend you know what i really want if if Selena Gomez would headline Coachella, I would go, bitch. Let me know if you would go, too. So, best friend, like I said, she is blessed, booked, and busy, honey. And she does not have the time for these uh, made-up rumors. I will say that, you know, um, 
there's a thing about Selena Gomez where people make up like, you know, the most random situations with the most random people in the world, right? And my question is like, how do you sit there and choose who you're gonna link her up with? You know what I mean? Like for example, blind items, you know, they 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 do, you know, they do appear and 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 you know you have to choose whether you want to believe it or not. You know, I have like a, I have like a thing. I say, you know what? I don't believe until it's confirmed. So like blind items, stories, you know, headlines. I'm like, always take it with a grain of salt. But there are people, of course, out there who will see a headline and definitely believe it. And that's why I think it's so important to debunk things, right? But Selena Gomez, I will say that, you know, her, people's interest in her love life is out of this world. I obviously, before she met Selena Gomez, I was doing videos like, you know, who I think she should end up with, you know, what type of person she should end up with. And I always said that it should be someone who is not, who doesn't do what she does, who is not a singer, who is not an actor, who is not involved in the industry. I always said, I remember I was talking about it one time and I was like, I hope she meets like this, like random scientist, like when she's in a small town filming a movie and then she goes to like the local, you know, diner and she just meets like a random scientist named Steven who wears round glasses and who is still very sexy and attractive has like a polo shirt and you know he doesn't know who the hell she is doesn't never heard of her doesn't have Instagram but he is very successful you know he has um, a lot of intelligence he's sweet he has good manners and I thought getting somebody who is not in the industry would be so nice because when you are in that industry, I do feel like egos take a really, you know, uh, front seat. You know, they take a place in the front seat, honey. And and you always kind of want to compete with one another, you know. Um, but Benny Blanco, I think he fits in the most perfect way because... Yes, he's part of that industry, but not really. You know what I mean? Like, if it was not for Selena Gomez, I really do believe that, you know, 90% of us wouldn't know who he was. But we've heard his music, but we just didn't know because we only know when we listen to music, we don't go and like, I wonder who produced this. I wonder who wrote this. We just hear the song. We like it. We don't. We support the artist. You know what I mean? So, um, so I think that he is famous, but without being famous on her level. So it's easy to to sort of just like take things, you know, with laughter, you know? But imagine Selena Gomez at the White House. Like imagine Selena Gomez at the freaking White House. Like imagine Selena Gomez being the first lady in the future. Like, I just know that she would, she would literally like change the world, I swear. The power Selena Gomez has is so, so magical. It really is. Like. I just know that talking to Selena Gomez fans and 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 listening to the stories that she has, you know, that she has told, that she has done, um, people who have met her, you know, everybody just speaks so highly of her that it just warms my heart to to know that somebody so honestly so magical is getting rewarded so much by the universe and that honestly makes me so happy but yeah girl i was i was thinking i want her to have like a lifetime movie you know kind of thing like you know small town meets a big city life you know and then you know the, the rush to the airport you know like i should have never let you go where is she oh, she's on her way to the airport if you leave now you can catch her oh, Hey, no mountain high enough, you know, just like running through the rain and then meeting at the gate. And what are you doing here, Steven? You know, and he's like, Selena, I lost you once. I'm not going to lose you again. And then just like, you know, live happily ever after. You know what I mean? It would just be so cute. Uh, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I love that she claps back. Like, I swear, you know, she hasn't, she hasn't said anything in any of my videos because I think she only claps back like the negative ones. But um, but I love that she is. She's aware, honey. She is booked, blessed, busy, and aware, honey. She knows exactly what people are saying. She knows exactly who's saying it. And she knows exactly when to debunk something. And I love that. I love that about her because once you let certain um, allegations and storylines get bigger and bigger and bigger, that's when the issues come. You know, that's when, you know, people have issues with, you know, the rumors, with the headlines. Look at the Biebers. Since they're so silent about everything, about all the divorce things, 
it's just you know making things worse but if you you know just shut it down from the very beginning people can't really say anything you know so good on selena honey i'm very proud of you girl but what do you guys think let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear from you guys i'm so grateful and thankful for you guys i don't take any of you guys for granted i hope you understand that and i hope you know that and i love you all so much and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. Bye.